All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking Golden State Warriors. They play the Denver Nuggets. First game is going to be on Saturday. At the time of this recording, Steph Curry's game one status is still uh, kind of like game time decision day by day. I think he's going to play. Uh, even if he doesn't play, I don't think it's going to matter. I think the Golden State Warriors are set up for a deep playoff run, 100%. If you guys are subscribed and watch my Warriors channel, you know my first round predictions. I got the Warriors in five here, but we're going to talk about a couple of things to keep an eye on, uh, a couple of reasons why the Warriors shouldn't need to panic anything like that um i'm still like steph curry coming back i still don't want steph to rush anything and you know risk further injury the nuggets are a good basketball team and with jamal murray and with michael porter jr who aren't going to be playing in this series they would be a very legitimate threat but i think you know, obviously, Nikola Jokic, uh, last year's MVP, might win another MVP this season. Personally, he's my pick, but like he elevates their whole entire team. But once you get to the playoffs, if you can just kind of focus, and the Warriors are great at this, i.e., James Harden 2018 in the semifinals. If you can just limit one player, try and neutralize a superstar like him as much as you can. I really have a hard time believing the Golden State Warriors are going to lose more than one game in this series. I think, you know, maybe the Denver Nuggets, um, led by Nikola Jokic, get red hot in one game and, you know, they're just making everything. They're draining threes left and right. They're playing good defense, limiting turnovers. So I think it'll be a gentleman's sweep. Uh, we have three players here who have very impressive statistics against the Denver Nuggets. But before we get into it, if you guys enjoy this video, hit the like button, hit that sub button. Post NBA content every single day. Like I said, you can sub to my daily work channel down below but I post plenty of Warriors content on this channel and we'll be covering them all the playoffs so we have three players from Warriors Muse to kind of keep an eye on against Denver here are their stats so Steph Curry's number one against Denver 27 points per game five rebounds four assists 64% true shooting so that's absolutely money number two Jordan Poole who's had a phenomenal season he is well on his way to becoming a superstar well on his way to becoming a superstar. I genuinely feel like Jordan Poole, whether it's on Golden State or not, I really hope it will be on Golden State. I think he's going to offensively run through the league for the next 10 seasons. I mean, this guy can literally do it all. If if we were to break down, this is stuff I do on my Warriors channel, breaking down Jordan Poole's per games, you know, without Steph Curry, with Steph Curry there, like it's just all eye-opening. It is all so eye-opening. Uh, but Jordan Poole against the Denver Nuggets on the season in three games, 23 points, six assists, and three rebounds. So very good stats right there. You're looking at literally 50 points right there. And um, I mentioned the 50 points because we'll talk about that here after this last point. But Kevon Looney, this is a guy who played every game in the entire season. Kevon Looney is definitely rock solid. Obviously, he's not going to be like a Rudy Gobert. If the Warriors had Rudy Gobert, it would be game over. It would be game over. Dynasty part two, like Dynasty part three, like they would just keep it going. Um, but Kevon Looney in his four games against Denver this season was super solid. And these are just kind of crazy ass stats. Keep in mind, he played four games against Denver this season. Uh, a couple of them were without Draymond Green. So I guess that's important when you hear this stat. But Kevon Looney, 11 points, four rebounds and eight assists per game against Denver this season. Absolutely crazy stat. Um, the Warriors actually end number one in defensive rating. I'm looking at this tweet here. It says they're ranked number second in defensive rating, but they actually finished number one ahead of the Boston Celtics. Keep in mind, Golden State with Draymond Green before his back injury in January, they were the number one defense, man. Before Draymond Green's injury, things looked really bright. You still had Klay Thompson making his return. Steph Curry was healthy. All the player, all the main players were healthy including the rock on defense, Draymond Green, and they were the number one defense, and they actually ended up getting back to the number one defense. But here we have a couple of stats that kind of puts the Warriors season in perspective. I, I just really think they're going to make a playoff run. Um, I don't want to talk too much about the second round. I don't, you know, don't want to talk about matchups in the second round or anything like that. But if I had to make a guess, um, in fact, just my prediction in general, is the Golden State Warriors will be in the Western Conference Finals. 100%, at the very least, the Warriors will be in the Western Conference Finals. So here we have some stats, once again, brought to you by Warriors Muse. Number one in assist percentage, um, 
fifth in assists per game. Second in defensive rating, but like I said, they finished number one in defensive rating. Second in defensive rebounds, fourth in true shooting percentage, fourth in steals. And keep in mind, this is like the whole thing about this tweet. Steph Curry missed 18 games. Klay Thompson missed 50 games. And Draymond Green missed 36. So none of like the Warriors' big three really played all that much consistent time together. In fact, it just, it actually didn't happen. It literally just like, it happened for like a handful of games there at the end of the season before stuff got hurt, but it, it just really didn't happen. And so the good news is if this, was a, if this was a different team, I would maybe be a little bit more hesitant. Uh, but when you're dealing with three superstar players like this, with their chemistry, with what they've done in the past, no, no issues whatsoever. And like I said, even if you have Steph Curry, let's say the worst thing possible happens. Steph Curry misses the entire series. Steve Kerr, athletic trainers, they just don't want to risk an injury moving forward. Like you're just, you're not trying to re-injure anything, which is the ultimate goal of Steph Curry. But I don't think this is likely in the in the slightest. Let's say Steph Curry missed the whole series. I still have like Warriors and I still have, I would probably put Warriors in five, but maybe Warriors in six if we want to be a little bit generous to Denver. Like I said, it's not like Denver isn't a talented basketball team, but Golden State is so deep. I mean, they have they are so deep. They have all these veterans. They have all these young players. Jordan Poole, Draymond Green, Klay Thompson to end the season in his last like six games. Klay Thompson was shooting like 31 points per game on like 50, 40, 90. So Klay Thompson's back. They'd find a way. You know, they'd find a way. I just don't think Denver, because the thing is when you get to the playoffs, you can game plan around one play. So Nikola Jokic, maybe they let Nikola Jokic, maybe they treat him like Harden. Who knows what the Warriors are going to decide to do. Maybe they treat him like Harden in 2018, where you let Jokic kind of run the Nuggets offense. You don't throw any doubles. You don't throw any traps. Just kind of coasting, letting them do all their, you know, all, all their offense, all their defense, because it's a really solid defensive team. You know, let Jokic pass it out to guys like Aaron Gordon, Will Barton, Monty Morris. Fourth quarter comes, you double team Jokic, you trap Jokic, and you make every other player beat you. And by that time, Jokic is going to be gassed, the Nuggets are going to be gassed, because you've kind of barely had your foot on the pedal you're just maintaining an easy speed letting them work themselves out fourth quarter you step literally step on that gas pedal and you just ram it down you just ram it down so with Steph Curry I think the the game plan will be a little bit different I don't think that they'll you know guard Jokic like they guarded James Harden um but I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, they kind of let him work himself out and fourth quarter comes, you start double teaming him, start putting the ball in other players' hands, not saying the Nuggets aren't capable of it, but if you kind of neutralize their best player, their superstar player, you're going to have to really rely hard on guys like Aaron Gordon and Will Barton. And in that situation, I just like the Warriors' chances a lot better. So that's it for today, man. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, hit that sub button. Comment down below your first-round prediction for the Golden State Warriors-Denver Nuggets series. Peace.